And I got a, looks like virgin air. Oh, it's cute. What is that? It's not us. Oh, Maple Leaf Canadian. It's not West yet. Palm Springs, big camp trail came through right there. Adding to all that stuff up there. And you can almost taste this stuff on your tongue. Oh, and here's another one coming through. I'm going to go inside get my phone. Let's see what this one is coming through here. Let's see what that Canadian one was. Flight Radar 24. All right. Radar, pull that up. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, too much stuff up there to make it out. That's vectoring hard. Let's see. It should be easy to spot here on flight radar. It's really making a hard vector. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It's really turning north. It's heading east. Now it's really turning north. Let's see which one that would be. That would be, right now it's right above me. Huh. Should be right in here, it's not over. Maybe that one right there. FedEx? Yeah, see, cause look. See, it's making that hard turn towards the north. So that was it right there. FedEx. There it goes. Not showing up. Yeah, it's right up there in the chemtrail haze, going right through it. And you know, these guys have to look at these clouds, and they're going through it. They got to be thinking, you know, we're probably breathing this stuff too. Obviously, I don't know how much air the passenger cabin draws in from the outside but obviously they have to get some oxygen somewhere in the plane a jet up that high even there's not much oxygen up there but there it goes yeah you can barely make it out but that was FedEx I'm not sure what that one did at Palm Springs it was already down by and then went through right there so bunch of them. One right there, FedEx right there, one that came through right there, adding to it, one right there. Man, they're just everywhere. And all these clouds, you see every single bit of it is from the air. Okay, I was asking one of those questions kind of to myself when I was taking a video of a FedEx that was flying through the schmuck up there in Coachella Valley. How do people get breathable air oxygen in airplanes anyways it goes on to say that they draw it from the outside and the air at that is so thin at that altitude is so thin that it's unbreathable but there is oxygen up there so here i'm going to post the link to this and uh that's how they get the air so when these pilots fly through this stuff day in and day out it's taken in through the turbines there it's hot air it's cooled down 
and then it's uh, pumped through the fuselage there and then there's an, an, an exit point at, at the tail which disperses it so and these are nano particulates that uh, they're spraying so it says it's filtered air but I, I guarantee you those filters have absolutely no effect on the nanoparticles they're spraying so yes these pilots are breathing this stuff probably at a higher level than we are I mean because they come they, they breathe it directly in front of a jet that is spraying on them in front of them and they fly right through them through that that chemtrail see them do it all the time sometimes they'll just follow the exact line of it and fly right through it so they're breathing this stuff too and then they come back down to ground level and breathe it like we do so it really makes you wonder what these pilots are thinking you know maybe maybe they're they just got chemtrail brains and they don't think at all just programmed to you know fly the jet from uh, you know point A to point B and do as they're told so I'm going to link this with the video where I just had a question about you know how jets because I know they carry oxygen and if, if a cabin pressure drop off happens that oxygen uh, mass deploy and you know you put your oxygen on otherwise you'll pass out in like 15 minutes but that's different from uh, the oxygen that they get from the outside air because if you think about it with you know 200 people on a jet I mean you'd suffocate in a matter of you know an hour probably or more if there wasn't some kind of outside air coming in so interesting that's just what I found of Dan Babylon and link this with one of uh, that I took asking that question